Welcome back. Now pasta is something that we've all come to love and especially our children. So I'm going to show you how to make pasta at home. It's as quick, it's significantly healthier and there's a great way of putting vegetables in it too. I'm going to make pasta with two different colors and the ingredients are atta, jar flour, salt, pepper, pudina, basil, onions and garlic. So I'm going to start the first flavoring of pasta with onions and garlic. Now in a dry pan on high heat, I'm going to put in the onions and the garlic. So as you can see, I've left the garlic in its big pods. You don't need to cut it up finely because we're going to puree it. Now the whole idea of this pasta is that you can put in different kinds of vegetables and therefore it will color the pasta and that's what's going to give our pasta so much of interesting difference to it. Now, what I like to do is take different vegetables, cook it off a little bit, puree it and instead of adding plain water, I add this pureed vegetable to my dough. And of course, I love my millets. So I put in jawar instead of just plain atta. So cook this until it goes a little bit brown and then puree it. So the onions and garlic are nicely toasted off and I've also made a puree out of the basil and mint. So let me show you how to make the dough. Really simple, it's just like chapati dough. So I'm putting half the amount of jawar and half the amount of atta and this is a good consistency for it. I've tried out different versions but half and half is the best. A pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper and then start adding in your liquid a little at a time. There are different recipes for pasta dough that say eggs, baking powder, it requires a rising agent. Personally, I don't think it requires a rising agent because we're going to boil it in water. So I love the vibrant colors that all these vegetables give. You can have beetroot, carrot, so green, purple, pink, orange, whatever color you like is there. And it's so much fun because you can get your children involved at this time. Let them choose the colors that they like and you just need to mix it through until the dough comes together and continue mixing for maybe two three minutes longer so that it's a nice soft dough so i've rolled out both the colors of pasta i just needed it a little longer than i would chapati dough and then let it rest for about 15 20 minutes and you can see that you know you can make it different colors it's such great fun to eat it together and like they said we eat with our eyes so the next step is to make different shapes. So you can be as creative as you like here. Italy has counted over 3000 kinds of pasta, so we can be creative as well. So what I like to do is take a little bit, put a little bit of atta on the, on the desk and then roll it out. So I'll show you how to make a bow shaped pasta and spaghetti. So keep adding on as much atta as is needed so it doesn't stick we'll brush off the excess at the end. So I've rolled it out fairly thin and what I'm going to do is take a nice rectangle of pasta, even out the edges okay. and then all you need to do is pinch it in the middle. And this is a kind of pasta called farfalle. Simple, bow type pasta and that's done. And all you need to do for spaghetti is to roll out a really long sheet and then make thin thin pieces of it like this it's as simple as that so when you need to cook this pasta just put it into boiling salted water takes about two three minutes and it's ready to be put into the sauce of your choice okay so i've rolled out the pastas in different shapes from ribbons to little circles to little cylinders be as creative as you like get your children to come in and let them stamp out their shapes each individual pasta is as tasty. Try it out with different colors, different textures and see how it goes. Handmade pasta is significantly better than what you buy from a shop and it's made faster than cooking a 20 minute packet.